five-time Paralympic gold medalist Yip Bin Siu will be given the inaugural President's Award for Inspiring Achievement, which will recognise Singaporeans who've overcome personal adversity and led inspiring lives. Addressing Yip herself, who attended today's parliament sitting, Culture, Community and Youth Minister Edwin Tong said that not only has she brought pride to Singapore on the world sporting stage, but she also served as a nominated MP from 2018 to 2020 and advocated on issues like sports and inclusion. She has also spoken out against campus sexual violence and workplace harassment. Ping Siu, your trophy cabinet must be packed by now. But I hope and I think you can find space for one more way in which we can honour and recognise you. Your innate quality to inspire Singaporeans, your consistency in sporting achievement at the absolutely highest level, your contributions in so many areas away from sport, and your own quiet, unassuming personality, which I know hides a deep personal conviction to be a positive change maker. Each already amazing in his own right, and I'm sure members will agree with me. But taken together, you and your achievements have really served to unite us as Singaporeans and inspire us deeply. This award will recognise Singaporeans who have overcome personal adversity and led inspiring lives. Through their outstanding and wide-ranging achievements and contributions to society, they are role models who instil a sense of national pride in fellow Singaporeans. This prestigious award will be conferred by the President to deserving recipients who will meet its highest qualifying criteria. It will be presented to Singaporeans with fitting achievements and may not be given out every year. Ping Siu has demonstrated these exceptional qualities. She has stared adversity in its face, time and time again, overcame it. She is truly an inspiration to Singaporeans, and it is only appropriate that she will now become the inaugural recipient of this award. This part of Mr Tong's motion to honour Team Singapore athletes who competed at the Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics. He also responded to questions on reducing the disparity in cash rewards for able-bodied athletes and para-athletes, saying the Singapore National Paralympic Council is working on increasing the cash payouts for para-athletes at major games. The award amounts offered under both schemes are raised and determined by the SNOC and SNPC respectively, along with their sponsors. Individually, the awards under each of the schemes are tiered based on the standard, the size and the feel of competition of each major games. In other words, Olympics, Commonwealth Games, Asian Games, Sea Games. The difference in cash quantums does not reflect how government values our para-athletes via our able-bodied athletes. In our eyes, they are all Team Singapore athletes and each athlete, abled or disabled, has his or her own intrinsic value, which we value, recognise and appreciate. SNPC is working on enhancing the cash awards for para-athletes in major games. They have already had discussions with a few entities to do so. And I've also discussed these efforts with President of SNPC, Prof Tioko, on several occasions and will continue to support their engagement with corporate entities and private funders towards this objective. SNPC will announce the outcome of their efforts in due course. Giving Olympians and Paralympians the same cash payout for a gold medal is a long-standing issue. With more the Straits Times' sports correspondent, Zali Abdul Aziz, Saz, you have spoken to Pinsu about this before. A Paralympian who wins gold gets $200,000. Now, that's one-fifth of the $1 million reward for a winning Olympian. What needs to happen, Saz, in order to achieve parity for these monetary incentives? Yeah, so in addressing this disparity, we have to uh, first understand the context of these awards. The Major Games Award Program, uh, or MEP, and Athletes Achievements Awards, or AAA for para athletes, are private award schemes managed by you know, national Olympic and Paralympic bodies, uh, respectively. Uh, the Tote Board is primary sponsor for both programs, which also feature contributions from the private sector. Uh, and this to where, uh, this is where, to my understanding, is where the, the disparity lies. The reality is that the Olympic garners more eyeballs than the Paralympics. Uh, and this is one of the uh, things that goes into the consideration for some of these private sector companies that are thinking about throwing their weight uh, and their money behind the award. Uh, having said that, uh, Minister Edwin Tong said in Parliament today that, that you know, the Singapore National Paralympic Council uh, has already held discussions with a few entities and that MCCY uh, would continue to support their engagement with corporate entities uh, you know, as they try and push 
uh, to close that gap in the disparity. Sans, help us understand, how does uh, Singapore compare with other countries on the giving out of cash rewards to gold medalists at the Olympics and Paralympics? Well, if you're talking about the quantum itself, uh, Singapore is actually you know, one of the most generous, if not the most generous uh, nations uh, in the world. Uh, our countries that have uh, publicly declared their cash rewards for Olympic and Paralympic athletes, uh, we offer the highest amount uh, for, uh, for Olympic gold which is, uh, as, as you mentioned, $1 million. Uh, sing dollars. Uh, but because of uh, the disparity between the Olympic and Paralympic gold, our neighbours across the causeway, Malaysia, uh, actually award more for a Paralympic gold. Uh, they also have a $1 million, uh, ringgit reward for Olympians, and, and they announced parity for an Olympic and Paralympic medal in 2016, meaning a Paralympic gold medalist now earns just about over 320000 Singapore dollars. Uh, plus, they have a monthly pension of about 5,000 ringgit per month. So, uh, yeah, while well, well, there are a handful of nations like Malaysia who have announced uh, equal rewards in recent years, near US and Australia among them, uh, many others have not. Uh, and as we mentioned, there are many factors behind them. Thank you for your inputs, Sans. That was my colleague at the Straits Times, sports correspondent, Zazali Abdul Aziz.